it's now the end of the 3.40 p.m. turn and you can see here the guard have really moved up and have set up a pretty good position to hold off the Prussians as they advance. Um, the Prussians have broken out of their columns and are now moving towards those guards with, as you can see again, a long line of uh, reinforcements arriving off from the east. So the guards setting up, preparing to defend, um, taking quite a, a forward stance, uh, hoping to um, be able to resist those Prussians. Around uh, La Haye Saint, the uh, again French launched a series of assaults, having some good successes here. You can see, as I've mentioned, the Brunswickers have shifted shifted to the east. Um, but in doing so, they've now exposed that area behind um, the Allied lines there, those British foot regiments. And the French are now pushing hard in in that area around there. Again, recovering order very nicely, which enables them just to rotate units throughout the front. And a good battery set up to uh, harass those Hanoverians on the ridge. Shifting into this area between La Haye Saint and Hougamont, uh, British heavy cavalry were activated and they, they, they moved into this little area here earlier and they launched some charges against um, uh, the French just in the southwest of La Haye Saint with some good successes. Uh, and they're still in that area and well, there's only two exhausted, uh, two tired. Uh, British heavy cavalry units there. There's still uh, these three units in the back here, some light cavalry in, in the area, um, and not much French opposition in that area. Le Beau's Corps uh, has taken a few losses despite not really getting involved all that heavily, but there's no French cavalry in the area. There's some French light cavalry over there with the artillery and a fair bit over here. Um, but there's an opportunity here for the heavy, the, the British heavy, Allied heavy cavalry to really um, uh, cause some damage uh, in this area, which is the, the French have overlooked. And around Hougamont, you may recall last turn, the French captured this high ground here, and the Allies had pulled back to a new line, leaving the guards out around Hougamont. But this is Cook's division launched. Um, just two assaults on those forward French units he eliminated um, one of the French units which was already pretty weak and routed uh, a good stack of three others um, so they've cleared the French out of the area they've re-seized those heights and if they can seize the initiative they can move back to uh, the hedgerow which is a pretty good defensive position elsewhere Um, pretty quiet again on this left flank uh, as the French heavy cavalry rest and try to recover and they'll probably be straight back at it again uh, once they recover uh, their tiredness. So that's uh, an overview at the end of the 340 turn now. We do the morale check and looking down here you can see very heavy uh, allied casualties throughout that hour. These, uh, this is the first corps and those guards units which have been all but wiped out um, from that fighting around Hougamont. There is not much left. Uh, the scattering of, of Dutch uh, Belgian casualties, you can see the, the French artillery have really been picking off. Uh, I think that's the Royal Horse artillery. In contrast, though, French losses have been relatively light um, and they've also been scattered throughout the various corps. Uh, so three losses in first corps, two in second corps, and they've lost a few artillery pieces uh, as well. Uh, Le Beau has actually suffered. Uh, you can see over here, um, mainly from that, that uh, allied artillery battery, battery between Hougamont and uh, La Haye Saint. Uh, 
I'm just going to count up um, British losses to see where they're at. Okay, I count 11 um, British casualties, which is just not enough to put them on that second level of, um, of the morale track. Very close to it though, and we're going to guarantee that um, they'll be down at least to that, uh, that second level by the end of the next hour, if, if things keep going as they, as they are. So I guess, yeah, the French are doing their job. They are causing very heavy casualties amongst uh, the Allied units. Um, I think the French have done well just to rotate the units through the lines, whereas those British lines have been static and, I mean, the guards have not moved much. The French have really been able to um, rotate the units through the line and spread those losses out um, throughout their units. All right, so it's a four o'clock turn coming up. More, much more um, Prussian reinforcements arriving and we'll see what happens.